Hi, I'm Emily of Emily's Line Fitness, and welcome to your Body Weight Strong Quick Bar Legs Workout. In today's Quick Bar Legs Workout, you're going to need a chair or a countertop, a couch, just something that you can hold on to for a little bit of balance. I also have a mat, but this is totally not needed. So if you don't have a mat, don't even stress. Just locate yourself next to even a wall is going to be fine to help you balance, okay? From there, we're going to start with our legs nice and wide. You're going to bend your left knee, tip forward, tapping that left ankle, bend your right knee and tap that right ankle. Tap and tap. We're just warming up a little bit right here. Switch and switch. Now as you go for these lateral weight shifts, think about really sending your butt not just to the side, but also to the back. Spine is long, belly is tight towards your spine. Give me eight. In seven, we're gonna hold that side bend over to the right. In three, in two, last one, and pause. Good. From there, you're going to go ahead and turn the toes out and forward. Right toes out and forward. Just a little warm up in five. In four, we hold the toes forward. Three, two, last one, right toes forward. And now shift your weight into that left leg. Turn the toes out. I'm adding a little pulse, down and down for three, for two, last one, hold the left toes out, turn your right toes out and shift your hips down. From there, lift your chest, push your hips forward and press those knees back. Arms reach overhead, you're gonna press your knees. Press, 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 take it faster, press. As you press those knees back, you're thinking of squeezing your outer butt cheeks and wrapping your inner thighs, not just forward, but also a little upward. Press, press. Good, press, press. You got eight, can you sink a little lower? Six, we're gonna head to that chair. In four, three, two, one, and stand. Right, okay, so we're feeling a little bit warmer in that lower body. We're gonna go ahead and grab our chair and we're gonna turn to face the chair. Now I'm eventually gonna face you, but you can go ahead and face your chair. Feet are gonna be hip width apart and parallel, and you have just your fingertips on your chair. Go ahead, lift your heels, and now bend your knees, pause. We want that tailbone pointing at the floor, so lengthen your lower back, and if the chest tipped forward, pull the chest back so it's stacked over your hips. Two counts down, two counts up. Three, two, one, here we go. You go straighten, straighten, down, down, straighten, straighten, down, down. Now for now, you can go all the way up, 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 down, down. Notice my heels. They're gonna stay just as high throughout that whole range of motion. Up, up, down, down. Now, in fact, I said I was gonna turn to face you, which I'm going to, but I still want you to be seeing me mostly through profile, so you can keep an eye not just on my spine, but also on my pelvis, as later in this sequence, we're gonna go for some tucks. Down, down, top of the thighs starting to burn. Up, up. We're gonna hold it down. In four, we hold it down. In three, in two, Last one, hold it down. And now you're gonna tuck your tailbone, pulling your hips to your ribs, and then untuck. Tuck, untuck, tuck, untuck. Keep your hips low. You're gonna feel the tops of the thighs a whole lot. Keep tucking, but take the tuck faster. Tuck, 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 you got it. Think tailbone down, pubic bone up and forward for five. In four, we keep the tucks going. Three, two, one, two tucks and a pulse. You go tuck, tuck, little down, little lift. Tuck, tuck, little down, little lift. Good, tuck, tuck, down, up. Tuck, tuck, down, up. Eight more, eight, down, up. Seven, wow, do I regret saying eight. Ha ha, six. Okay, we'll make it together. Down, up, five, down, up, four more, four, Ooh, down, 
up, three, try to sink a little bit lower if you can, two more, two, notice that that chest is tilting forward, last one, down, up, lower your heels. All right, that is that bar burn you were expecting, right? Go ahead and turn to face me now. Right hand is gonna be on the bar. Heels are together on your bar, on your chair, which we're calling a bar. Heels are together, toes apart, forming a little small V formation. And take your left hand just to your hip. You're gonna step that left foot back and find a curtsy lunge. Pause, left toes in line with your right heel. Your chest is tipping forward and the butt is back. Your chest forward, butt back, but the spine's still long. From there, we have a little combo. You're gonna go for a curtsy, and then you're gonna step your left foot forward, bend both of your knees, and find a little plie. So you go, curtsy, plie. Curtsy, plie. That right knee is staying bent the whole time, and you're doing a little pulse in both. Curtsy pulse, plie pulse. Curtsy pulse, plie pulse. Good, back and in. We're gonna feel the right leg a little bit more here. That's the focus. Back, in, back, in. We're gonna make it a little spicier. In four, you hold your curtsy. Three, you hold your curtsy. Two, hold your curtsy. You're gonna go curtsy, hold. Plie, hold. Curtsy, hold. And then stand up, extend your left leg. Curtsy, hold. Plie, hold. Curtsy, hold, stand up, extend that left leg, take a tempo. Curtsy, plie, curtsy, extend. Curtsy, plie, curtsy, extend. Now final version, if you wanna make it a little spicier, when you go for that leg lift to the side, you're gonna lift your right heel off the ground. Curtsy, plie, curtsy, up. Now that's much more challenging for the balance. I'm leaning a little bit into my chair, trying not to, but there you go. Back, in, back, extend. Now when I go for my plie, I'm keeping my chest a little bit forward. You can lift the chest up if that feels more comfortable. Up, back, in, back, kick, back, in, good, back, and kick. We're gonna finish in the curtsy, in three, in two, Last one, hold the curtsy, lift your right heel, pulse down, pulse down. You're in your curtsy, right heel is lifted, you're pulsing down and down. Can you take your right hand off the chair? Can you reach your arms towards me? Sink a little lower, we go. 16, 15. Most of your weight is in that right foot. You should feel your right inner and outer thigh. In five, if you feel your glute, you're not doing it wrong. Three two, and one. Woo! All right, so let's go ahead and switch sides, yes? We're gonna start back at the beginning, but this time, instead of having your feet in parallel, hello, parallel, you're gonna have your heels together and your toes apart, okay? So, small V, heels together, toes apart, and then lift your heels and re-glue them together. Very important that your heels are touching. Actually get them to touch. Tuck your tailbone under, pull the chest back, down for two, down, two, two, down, two, up, two. All right. So as you go down, you're pressing those knees out to the side. They should be tracking over your second toe. Up, up, down. As I go down, I'm thinking more about my butt. I'm just gonna get my chair on my mat. And as I come up, I'm thinking about really squeezing my inner thighs. Up, down, and up. Down, now maybe you take your right hand to your back for just a second. It should not be arching at all. So press your ribs back into your right hand, and then you can take your hand back to the chair. Down. We're gonna hold it down at our lowest point in just a moment. Keep the heels high, keep the heels touching. Four, we hold it down. Three, we're gonna press the knees back. In two, last one, hold it down. We start to flutter the knees. Think press, think press. Outer butt squeezing as you press. 
four, we keep going, we take it faster. Three, we keep going, we take it faster. Two, and one, keep going, but take it faster. Yes, press, press. You got this. Just a little bar work. I am, um, I'm a bit unlucky in my recording days. I'm once again recording on one of the hottest days of the summer. <laughs> it's okay. It's my own fault. I record usually on Thursdays. Maybe Thursdays are hotter. I have no idea. You got four. We're gonna keep the presses, we're gonna add a pulse. In three, two, and one. You go, two presses. Press, press, little pulse. Press, press. Okay, I'm gonna regret saying it, but you know I'm gonna say it. Press, press. We got eight more, yeah? We can do it, it's just eight. Eight. Woo! Seven. Six. Breathe, breathe. Five. Four. We want that burn. We want that shake. That is bar for you. Three, two, last one. Lower the heels. You survived. We do that second side. Single legged situation or curtsy plie, etc. And then we call it. Oh my gosh, you're almost done. All right, heels together, toes apart in your small V. And now step your right leg back. Right leg back, right toes in line with your left heel. And your right hand can come to your hip. You step right foot forward, bend both of your knees, little plie. You step the right leg back, curtsy plie. Cur plie, curtsy. In, out. Now, keep doing what you're doing. Maybe notice, if you look at your feet, if you're crossing your right leg behind the left, so I'm not stepping it behind and across on the diagonal, right? I'm stepping it directly behind where the right toes are in line with that left heel. This is gonna help keep our hips square. And we're not always gonna do our curtsy like that, but today we are, so try to keep those hips square. Ah, square means both of your hips were headlights. You're driving right towards me, towards that computer, towards your TV, your phone whatever modern day device you're using. Three, two, last one. Hold your curtsy, please. We add on. Curtsy, hold. Plie, hold. Curtsy, hold. Kick that right leg to the side. Curtsy, hold. Plie, hold. Curtsy, hold, yes. Right leg out to the side to tempo. Curtsy, plie, curtsy, kick, yes. Yeah. Hey, curtsy. Kick. Now, if you want to make it harder, you add that heel raise. Back, in, back, kick, heel raise. Back, in, back, kick, heel raise. If your heel raise looks like this because you are using the chair so much for balance, get rid of the heel raise or try to use the chair less. I'm okay with using it a little bit so you don't fall over but we're not falling into the chair with our whole body, right? This is too much. In, back, up. We have our curtsy pulses coming up in just a moment. And then we're gonna call it. Give me four. And up, three. And up, two more, two. We hold the curtsy. Last one, kick. Hold the curtsy, hold, lift your left heel, start to pulse down and down. Weight is in that left toe, left heel is lifted, reach your arms overhead. We've got our final pulses right here. If it's too much, take one hand back on the chair, don't worry about that. Give me eight, give me six, give me four, three, two, one, and done. Amazing, go ahead and keep one hand on the chair. Right foot into your right hand, heel to the butt. Quick, efficient, spicy. That's bar for you, by the way. You get to like a 10 on the thigh burn immediately. Go ahead and take that left foot into your left hand, heel to the butt. Nice, we're gonna stretch out our glutes as well. Cross your mm, left ankle over your right thigh, sink your butt back. Really try to pull back off the chair. I'm doing the best I can. My left butt cheek is so tight from my workouts yesterday. 
Good, and now switching sides. Right ankle over, ow, right ankle over left knee. I just kicked my chair, that's okay. Hmm. Ooh, sink a little bit lower, good. And now go ahead, come up to stand, give yourself a huge round of applause. I am so proud of you for tackling that legs workout. I hope that your legs are feeling a little bit stronger than when you started. If you wanna try a couple more bar workouts, then I will link to you my whole Raise the Bar playlist, which is gonna be bar-inspired workouts across the board. If you like this workout, then I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. It's Emily's Aligned Fitness, and I have new workouts coming out every single Monday. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you next time.